there's something about us as human beings that we really want to know what's out there in the universe. And I think like a billion people saw the first image of the black holes. And I think we would just want to know more. But most of what we saw in that picture was gas circulating around the black hole. We would like to understand the properties of the black hole itself. It turns out that there is a really elegant, beautiful, and simple way of doing that. The black hole space-time itself actually creates a way of studying black holes in an entirely new way. Black holes are where you have the strongest gravity. Light rays are bent round. A bent round by a lot can even make a circle around the black hole. And this leaves certain signatures in the image of the black hole. The photon ring. Those photons tell you everything about the nature of the black hole. We'll be able to probe principles of general relativity, gravity, and how the universe works on scales not before seen. They've already created the largest telescope. Now they need to make it even bigger. We realize that we'll never be able to do this science from the ground. Earth is not big enough. Our mission is to launch a radio telescope into space, producing the sharpest images in history. It'll be one of the most complex pieces of instrumentation that we have attempted to put into space. It takes hundreds, if not thousands, of people to put a payload into space. There's radiation, so your electronics have got to be special electronics. Thermal analysts, they'll be very specific structural analysts. It has to be lightweight. It has to be low mass. It's got to be low power. There'll be contamination experts. There'll be material science experts. Getting the timing right so that they're all taking data at the exact same time, you know, that's going to be huge. How to get the data off the telescope down to the ground so we can actually analyze it is hard. You can't store the information in space, so you need to constantly be beaming it back to Earth. The equivalent of a library down from space back to Earth. We're going to use laser communications in order to send this massive amount of data from space to ground. This amount of data rate has not been done before. The project is really getting velocity. We've gathered people from all over. The MIT Lincoln Laboratory, Goddard Space Center, Harvard, the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory, NASA. I think it's a strength of this team, in other words, that, that we're focused so much on what can you actually build and fly. It's amazing. It's amazing to see all of this expertise from high theory to the details of engineering in one place. What I would encourage all of the science team members to think about is, why do you want to go to space? What you want to plan to spend your next 15 years doing is the simplest mission that accomplishes your task. The big question is, how do we actually see the black hole itself, and what does that mean? And I think the photon ring is a promising idea for how to do this, because it's the part of the image that belongs to the black hole. What we're trying to do is something really transformational, linking space to the ground to make a telescope that's much larger than our planet. If we, there are all these rings Just the thought of something out there. From an engineering standpoint, working with everything on the ground, to me that's just, it's a tremendous um, kind of fun. <laughs> We're optimistic that we can really see the black hole itself in a very sharp, precise, and totally unprecedented way. It's a completely new area that nobody has ever explored. We're all in, because there are certain things we want to learn about the world that cannot be learned any other way. I love this project. I think it's, it's going to make significant improvements in our understanding of black holes in many different areas. You can do real fundamental physics on the one hand. At the same time, you can do a lot of really interesting astronomy. It's very rare to find one experiment or one mission 
that can satisfy both. This whole project is light all the way down, from the black hole to the satellite. Looking at just pure light, the way it moves, conveys the geometry of space and time itself. This powerful jet emitting so much. We do not have a complete theory of how to describe a black uh, hole. This experiment is an exciting uh, step in that direction. And Lewis and Arthur, so we finally have technology good enough. Now's the time. Strike while the iron is hot. This is actually the inception point. And I get to be on the ground floor. We're looking at something like a three and a half meter aperture. We're trying to lead it, trying to be responsible for the vision and, and make sure that we're going after something that, that really can be done. It's thrilling to have that opportunity. The photon rings illuminate the geometry of our universe. That seems to me something worth fighting for. It's a 10, 12 year project, requires a certain amount of optimism and hope, uh, and something I really believe in. That's how knowledge evolves in bits and pieces with the contribution of hundreds of thousands of people, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Eight, seven, six, Five, yep, this is why four. I get up in the morning and I can see it. I can see it clearly what we're gonna see and, and and every day I think yep we're getting we're getting one step closer Three, to that. Two one